Dozens took to the streets prior to the Board of Selectmen meeting to protest against a CVS pharmacy coming in to the space of the former Colella's CVS lease space in the former Colella's from owners Waltham-based Crosspoint Associates. Ever since, there has been many residents that are not happy about the move. We do all our shoppings at, um, at Hopkinton Drugs and we hate to see them close. And I know if CVS comes here, you know, they're going to have to close because they are, you know, they can, you know, drive the prices down and Hopkinton Drug cannot compete, they will go out. So I hate to see that happen. It's a small town and it's a small community and we don't want a CVS here. We just want Hopkinton Drug and that is it. I, I actually planted a couple of these signs at Hopkinton State Park. Now, don't as citizens as, as, and taxpayers, do we not have a right to plant a sign on state property? It was removed. That's not right. At the meeting, residents got the chance to discuss the CVS with selectmen. The Board of Selectmen, I thought that um, you had more of an interest other than just, oh, we're handed this and as long as it follows this, and I don't know what this theme is, but it seems to me that you're elected to represent us, and right now, if you look at the feeling of the town, you are not, this, we aren't being represented. Even if we had wanted to bring something else to that, to that location, we don't have the right to just do it. I mean, this is a private transaction between the seller and the buyer. It's, it's, there's no, we can't inject ourselves into this unless they need something from us, which in this case they didn't. And I can guarantee that if everybody who says that from this point forward they're only going to shop at Hopkinton Drug, only shops at Hopkinton Drug, they don't have any worry if CVS ends up opening its doors. They'll have plenty of business to keep them in business, and you know there will be no worries from that, from that point. Selectman Brian Herr felt the CVS lease was very sneaky and did not agree with the way that it was done. Uh, but I had a quarrel or an issue with the two words that you used there, unusual and typical. Uh -huh. So I've had the uh, pleasure of serving the town for 14 years in very selective and appointed positions. And in my 14 years on the planning board, zoning advisory committee, board of selectmen, personnel committee, and my wife could probably remember a couple others, I have never seen a business come to town in the cover of darkness or under the cover of darkness and try and ram something down our throats as this current situation is playing out. And I'm very interested in exploring all those avenues you just described, including acquiring the land by whatever means necessary. Town Council was also on hand to discuss the legality of the CVS. Uh, an application needs to be forthcoming if, if they, in fact, have changed any aspect of their operation. Uh, I assume when... The, Including the fact, land ownership? No, land ownership is not so much of an issue. Um, the, if it, because you're approving the business and you're approving the manager of the business when you issue the license. Not, um, they have to um, uh, have the right to operate <coughs> the property, but they don't need to own it. So, um, uh, I'm not aware that the, the business itself has changed or that the um, uh, or, or that the manager has changed. If it has, that needs to be approved as well. But if the physical location within the building has changed, that's something that, that needs to come before you from A little later, Selectman Brian Hur got more heated about the CVS lease. No, no, no. The, the reason, reason there's a C. The reason there's a C. I'm not even discussing this here's town. Now. We're not here to discuss that. Mr. Hur, you're out of order. I know I'm out of order. I will remain out of order until we get this figured out. Mr. Hur, They stop. came to town under the cover of darkness. Mr. Hur, And that is wrong. That Mr. created Herb, the scene that we are now struggling with. I'm asking you for the third time to let this show. I'd like to let the community speak, okay? I, your, your points have been made. I'd like to keep this under control. I'd like to let folks ask questions. I'd like to move away, okay? A few residents argued that CVS is more of a health institution rather than a retail store. Therefore, it would be a zoning violation for a CVS to open in the 61 Main Street Plaza. There are several compelling arguments, I feel, from their own website that would indicate that they are, according to the law, regardless of why it was constructed, that would say they are indeed a health services facility. It's not a stretch, it's their words. 
kind of all over the place. Really sure on this that there's a 2012 bylaw excluding health services um, in the downtown facility, a business for health, health services facility. Is that accurate? Health services facility is allowed in the downtown district. Mm -hmm. uh, per Elaine Lazarus, the land use planning and permitting director, a health services facility is not allowed by right nor by special permit in the downtown business district. So I would really second raising the board to really look into that because I can tell you it's my primary use of CVS in my daughter's history and also as a critical care nurse that CVS is a health care facility and that's the primary use of it. It's great that my mom stuffs my stockings with other things she can get from CVS, but its primary use is really health care facilities. So I think that by law, if that's what we're looking at in policy and not where we stand personally by our values, community and family, which is what we want to actually strive to present here, then I would challenge you to look at that. And Brian, thank you for having the same courage that my daughter has. Hopkinton drug owner Dennis Cates was on hand to thank supporters. Uh, Dennis Cates, Hopkinton Drug, 22 Kruger Road, uh, general manager of the Hopkinton Drug. Uh, this is an opportunity for us to thank the community for coming out and being supportive of us. Um, I gotta tell you, it's very humbling. Uh, I've never dreamed of this, ever. Um, you've definitely made a change in my life. I thank you so very much. We are not going anywhere. We are going to try very hard. We're one store. We're not 9,000. We're just one store. It's going to be a heck of a challenge. But we're going, to, we're going to stand up and we're going to take that challenge as best we know how. Thank you all. After the public discussion, the Board of Selectmen Chair Ben Palaco made it clear that no decision would be reached during the night and a lot more discussion is still to come. But the conversation helped determine what needs to be discussed in future meetings.